are back again. We're going to place sutures in, a, in a, uh, running fashion as we did in the previous video, but this time we're going to lock them. And the reason you might want to lock sutures is because it helps stop the bleeding. It's essentially a watertight seal. We'll tie it in the usual way, which in this case is not very good because of the material is so slippery. Much like fishing line. Once we've done that, pull this over to the side we like best. We'll trim the end a bit. And now we're going to run the suture just as we did before. Place the suture through. But the trick here is I'm going to loop the suture around and pull the needle out through the center of it. And watch what happens. It locks like that. Another one. Again, we're going to place the loop of suture over the top of the needle and pull the needle through the loop. And you can see that we're just going to march our way down as we did before. And again, this suture is used, this locking suture to keep the area from bleeding and to keep it watertight. Now wounds generally will seal over within 24 hours. So you want a sterile dressing for 24 hours after you've closed a laceration like this. When we get to the end, we don't bring the needle through the loop necessarily, but we do tie it. Here are Needle's getting a little short. Our suture material is just about, just about all used up. We are, and generally you would do at least four knots. Here we cut the ends like or so, and we have a running, locking suture.